Hey guys, it's Lauren from the V105 Breakfast Club. I'm here with Travis Benning, Grand Country Nights. Welcome to Minnesota. Good to see you. Good to be here. So, before we talk about your show and everything, I have to tell you an embarrassing story. So, 2019 maybe it was, CMA Fest, my first CMA Fest, my last CMA Fest as well. <laughs> That's crazy. I waited in line to meet one person, and it was you. When was this again? 2019 maybe? Heck yeah. That was, and yeah. one CMA Fest did me in. Yeah, I, I I'm exhausted. So. Yeah, it's it, it'll whoop your it'll whoop your tail. I I try to knock everything out in one day. Yeah, that's usually what I try to do. I don't always get to do that. Yeah, so I waited in line to meet you, and there was a super long line. And then after, I was like, that was a lot. I'm tired, but it was worth it. So fun, Heck and yeah, I uh, it's such a fun weekend in Nashville. It is, it is fun. Yeah, it feels better up here right now than it does. Well, that's what I was gonna say. So you're in Minnesota. You've obviously been here before. You go to so many places. So like. What do you think of when you think of Minnesota? Like, do you think of the classic stereotypes? Like, we're really nice fishing. I know so many country stars love fishing, yeah. so. Yeah, I think Minnesota and obviously this land of a thousand lakes. Uh, I think Minnesota and Wisconsin are the two best fishing uh, states. Oh, well, States. Minnesota maybe a little more, but I'm a little biased, but. Yeah, there, there's definitely probably a hair more lakes and stuff, but uh, yeah, I just love, like, I love smallmouth fishing, so like, yeah. it, the further north I can go. Yeah. Um, yeah, not great ocean fishing yeah. right right well if you come to Duluth where my station is there's Close like enough. superior it's kind of like an ocean. Perfect, perfect. um so let's talk about music you just released a new album tell me about that yeah it's called roads that go nowhere and uh yeah it's, it's actually my first full linked album i've ever put out i've put out a lot of eps and singles but uh yeah it's just um you know the the title track is just kind of about the places i've been and the places i've yet to go and you know, kind of those roads that are supposed to go nowhere, where they got me somewhere, and the, it was just kind of thematically the, the, the anchor for the whole album. Yeah, and what I noticed while listening to it, um, like you have like some sassier songs that you've written in the past as well, and then you have like sweet songs, some like rock songs. So, like, what's your favorite kind of songs to write and then perform? The ones that sell and are hits. Yeah. Uh, no, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I, no, I um, uh, I like writing. Uh, some of the tongue-in-cheek stuff, like Can't Find One. Abby's funny to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, I know how it sounds. I think it's got some kind of quirk to it. Those are fun. I just like, I, I love like, we call it furniture. It's like a lot of descriptive things. Um, yeah, I love writing that. And then playing the rock and stuff is my favorite. Yeah, and then you write a lot of songs, or at least you used to for other artists. I always wonder, how do you know what to like give away and keep? Because I feel like if I wrote a song, which I will never do, but like I wouldn't want to give it away. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd want to keep it. It's a gut feeling. Uh, there's just some that I just know down in my heart that I want to keep. Uh, and then uh, if Morgan Wallen likes it, you give it to Morgan Yeah, you're like, Wong. Morgan, yes. I don't Absolutely. give a damn what he can. He can cut after a few if he wants. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you can. So, uh, yeah, that's my go-to is every song is uh, potentially up, you know, up up for grabs for me unless unless he likes it then yeah. i'm like you can have anything you i'll want. sell my soul take yeah, this yeah song. please take um it. so what can we expect from your show tonight uh just rocking some some ass kicking we love that yeah that's Absolutely. what we like to do we like to leave people going what the hell was that yeah that, and that's my favorite kind of show to see where you're just like mesmerized and you're like that was amazing ass kicking for sure um and then the last question you just got married i just got engaged what's a good piece of like newlywed advice for me Happy wife, happy life doesn't count. No, yeah, that, honestly, that's not true. <laughs> oh, uh, I think sometimes yeah, you got to make her miserable, <laughs> you know, and then you just have no. I'm just saying, I don't know. I mean, I think uh, the realization that if you're both in it for the long haul, then I, I would literally think 95% of arguments are arbitrary. Yeah. And so uh, that's early on, we, you know, just bicker or whatever, have an argument, and then we both go like, well, I mean, I'm not yeah. breaking up, so That's this true. is stupid. You write her a love song. You're I think, like, I think, when, me. yeah, when you kind of most of the things, if it don't matter at the end of the world, it's not gonna matter. Right, yeah. love it. And then, like I said, write a love song and or an angry song. I don't know. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, we're so excited for your show today. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much. I'm excited. You. Absolutely.